Hey guys, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha. I am Andrew, and today we're gonna be trying like 10 11. seafood items. Yeah. 10, 11, 11 seafood 11. items that are vegan. Yes, uh, are you excited about this one? Cause I am nervous as heck. Uh, I'm excited, honestly. I, I used to love seafood. I did too. Seafood was like the thing that I, I miss, I would say, that like if we were talking about like what's one vegan, what non-vegan thing that you miss. Okay. I think mine would be seafood. You got to go to the store for this video. I did, yeah. So that was exciting. So yeah, I got some fresh air, finally. <laughs> You get fresh air every day. Yeah, I get to you walk in the mailbox. You make it sound like we like, have you locked in the basement? Pretty much. <laughs> such a liar. Andrew gets to go to the mailbox. <laughs> it's like the highlight of my day. Okay, is there anything here that you are excited about trying uh, more than something else? Like, is it the shrimp, the like fish sticks, the tuna? I never cared for tuna, to be honest right. with you. Uh, I used to like shrimp, uh, crab, Funny enough, like I used to love fish sticks, but I felt like fish sticks was like a, you had to be in a certain class of people. To eat fish sticks? Yeah, like fish I- Fish sticks are so cheap. Yeah, that's my point. Like it was like- Oh, Like I if you were in a, like a, I guess if you were, you know, an upper class of person, you probably never had a fish stick. It was like a- Okay. You I know thought, what I mean? Like that's what I'm trying to say. Like, so like in the lower class, uh, I guess you would call it, like I had fish sticks and I actually loved them. Got it. I thought you were saying like the opposite, like only like upper people ate fish sticks. Like, well, I'm, I'm, I completely like- Well, you're saying like upper people. I'm not saying like, like that's a problem. You're saying I'm like, saying, like, class like, like the cl Yeah, class of people. Like I, I felt like in that lower class of people, yeah. you had fish sticks, but I felt like fish sticks was a, uh, it's kind of like a like one of those I don't know like a food that people like ugh, that kind of thing. Really, I loved fish sticks. Me too, but okay. I, I, I get like I I figured I don't know I don't you know what like I'm trying to say. You feel like people turn their nose up at fish sticks. Yes, it's like like lesser than like exactly. But I used to love fish sticks. Like yeah. I used to be like yo fi like like nuggets. Like you know what I mean? Right. That's no, all. That's I what I'm trying to say. I don't know if that makes sense. We at all. always had fish sticks with mac and cheese. I don't know in your house. What in the West Virginia? We had fish sticks and mac and cheese for dinner. Like that was the thing. Yeah, no, I, we had fish sticks with ketchup. Well, yes, we had ketchup. But not with... Uh, no? No. We had fish sticks, we made like sandwiches with them too. Ketchup yeah. on that too. But no, not, not with any mac and cheese. That's just wrong. Huh, interesting. I, I don't know. I don't even know if people eat fish with mac and cheese. <laughs> it's a Southern thing, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> I, I guess. This should basically be a Sophie's taste test because like five of the 10 things are from this wow. brand. Yeah. Um, But this is smoked salmon and I don't, I, I never had this before being vegan. So I have like no idea like what it should be, what to do with it, how it's supposed to I've taste. I've never had smoked salmon either. I, I'm, I was excited for just the salmon portion. As far as it being smoked, I have no idea. Yeah, but it's also like on a bagel. Like, is it supposed to be like, you know, like, uh, is it Italian people have like locks? Like, is it supposed to be like that? I have no idea. You don't know what I'm talking locks, about. Locks, like dreadlocks? No. <laughs> huh? Like, what are no, you talking about right now? It's like bagels and locks. It's like a, I think Lock it's an what? Italian thing. Locks, L-O-X. Okay. You have no idea. Yeah, I, really, I mean, I, I mean, I don't really even know. I just know it's a thing. I remember the group, the locks. Oh my god. Okay, we are going to go cook this food and jump into this video. You, I, I'm just not sure what you're talking about right now. Okay. All right, we are, we are back. <laughs> We're not excited about this whatsoever. Um, usually, Andrew gets made fun of for being very extra. Um, I have a feeling that we may both be very extra in this first segment of this. Your face looks just so disappointed in life. I feel grumpy, like looking at this stuff. I actually brought like, a whole roll of paper towels because I feel like we're just gonna spit all of this out. I don't even know if I'm gonna get it in. Like, this is crazy. Yeah, so. Oh, uh, let me. You wanna take a video? Show y'all what this stuff looks like. I'm not, I'm not excited whatsoever right now. First of all, I never liked tuna. Second um, of all, it's cold, and I'm not a cold food person. And then you put mayo in it. I guess because people eat tuna with mayo, yeah, and I, I don't like had, mayo either. I always had mayo and tuna growing up. Like, did I don't know? Maybe you guys can leave a comment and let us know. Like, did you put mayo in your tuna? Uh, I never ate tuna. 
Yeah, I mean, I tuna was like one of those things for me that was like, like we were talking about earlier with the fish chicks, like it being cheap. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it is. Yeah, it's fairly cheap. Yeah, like it was a, a, a protein um, that was very cheap for us growing up. So we had it often. I tried tuna like one time and that was because Ace Ventura. Same. The pet detective? Yeah. He what said, did he say? Bumblebee tuna. Oh, so you it's went and like got a, the Bumblebee brand? Yeah, oh, yeah, which was like the most expensive brand <laughs> in there. But like, yeah, I'm not, this is. Yeah, so none of these look like tuna to me. Like what I remember, like flaky, like tuna fish in a can being. Um, one is obviously in a package, but like none of these look like that. This one looks like straight Satan. Um, this one is just like a gloppy mess. And it was a glot, like it looked like it had like jelly inside of it when it came Come out the on, can. The, the description, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat this. I'm sorry. All right, well, let's just do it. This one, the first one here is Sophie's plant based tuna. This one has a uh, soy inside of it, it's also made with pea protein. Um, and I don't see any other top allergens. Now, when you did have like two times, <laughs> you were cracking me up, the two times you did have tuna. Did you, how did you eat it? Well, I, I think they used to like, doesn't tuna come in like, in certain stuff? Like it'll be like in water and then yeah, in oil. like soybean oil. Or, like it, it'll be in certain stuff. So I remember I, technically when I did have it, I had it right out of the can, which is probably not the best way to have it, but that's how like I had nothing, it. Like nothing, like no salt, no pepper, like literally straight out the can? Same way you would eat like corn or chickpeas out of a can, like straight out of the can. Okay, well we always either had tuna sandwiches or we had them with crackers. So I brought crackers, but if you just wanna try it just straight up. I'm not trying this like with no crack. I'm, I'm gonna take a little piece. Okay. I'm gonna well, try I'll to put it in that. my mouth. All right, ready? We're gonna try this one first. What do you mean you? I thought you was gonna have it with a cracker. No, I'll do it how you're doing it. This looks like seitan though, right? Like it looks like. Yeah. All right, I literally put the same amount like per ounce of mayo, salt, and pepper. So they're it's even. Ready? We should have got like juice to drink, not water. I I think this may second. What does it smell like? This smell? It smells dog food like. <sighs> Come on, let's just get this over with. This was the only one to me that's had a, the good catch one. Uh, this is the only one to me when I was opening them had a like fish tuna smell. The other two smelled like beyond meat. I don't know. Oh, come on. Okay, ready? Was that alive? No, that I accidentally tilted my spoon. Oh, because I thought I thought it like jumped. I just said, this is every reason for me not to eat this joint right no. now. All right, ready? Yeah. Whew. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Stop. It's honestly not. <laughs> Why isn't it? <laughs> it's honestly not that bad. <clears throat> oh, the aftertaste is a little weird. <clears throat> It is much more meaty. Oh my gosh. And chewy than I remember tuna being. Um, I wouldn't buy it again, but what I thought it was gonna taste like and what it tastes like is not, um, it's not that bad. All right, so this is the next brand. It is from Loma Linda. It says to know it is made with soy, protein, and no other top eight allergens. It's a much smaller list of ingredients than the first one. You ready? Yeah. The, the world's smallest bite. Ready? I have nothing to say right now. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Go. Ah, uh -uh, I wanna see your face first. I'll try this one, but I'm not trying that one, especially after we, 
This one does. It's I'll like, look at your face before I try this one too. It's jelly like. No, we have to try this one together because this one actually smelled the best. You know what? And it actually looks like flaky. Oh, so this is good catch. Um, they had different ones, you said, because you bought this one, right? They had like other varieties. Yeah. It so was this one's like in a water. Gold package, and that that one was just blue, and the rest of them were blue, so I got it. Okay. Um, so this has uh, soy inside of it. It's also made with pea protein, um, and I don't see any other toppy allergens. Ready? Yeah. It tastes nothing like tuna, even though it smelled like it. So I can tell they were trying to get the flakiness of tuna. Um, as far as taste, I don't, I don't really taste much of a fishy flavor. Oh, yeah. But it's not fair because I also took this really small bite and I'm not taking more of it. Yeah. It's just not happening. To be honest, I think that there is a um, a lot of improvement that can be done in this area. Um, in the vegan market, um, I don't think I, I wouldn't buy any of these ever again. Literally just comparing it to like an 80 cent can of tuna versus like how much these were. Like it was just expensive. Oh like, yeah, like cans of tuna used to be fairly cheap. Even the Bumblebee one in comparison to the rest of them. Yeah. But. All right, we are back with hopefully what is much better. Um, we I'm, have, I'm actually smiling this time. Yeah. I'm, a little, I'm a little happier, <laughs> especially with the smell and stuff. Right, so these are supposed to be like fish sticks, fish fillet, fish. Fish fillet things. Fish. I do want to point out that uh, we got our 30 day old Trader Watermelon Joe juice. <laughs> juice. Um, <laughs> just in case things go south again. All right, well let's start with Guardian because it's a brand that we're familiar with. All right, so these are made with soy and wheat. Uh, it also has corn inside of it and no other top allergens. So, ready? Um, yeah. It's nice and warm. All right. It smells fish sticky or filet or sticky. Yeah, like long tongue Smells silvers. like fish, huh? Like long tongue silvers. Did you ever go there? Uh, we never had one of those. Never? No. Really? Mm -mm. Hmm. Okay, go. You just biting it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you want to dip it in a ketchup? Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. This is good. Someone is cringing that we were dipping it in ketchup and not tartar sauce. Um, to each his own, you know? Yeah, so- But this is good. This is actually, uh, texture on this is nice. But yeah, I really like these. I mean, I, we like a lot of guarding things, so. So this is the next one. It is- Happy meter coming back. <laughs> Until you try this. No, I'm just joking. Oh gosh. Um, this is Sophie's Kitchen's Vegan Fish Filet. Um, it has, I found the ingredients this time. Um, it is made with pea protein and there's no, there's actually no top nine allergens inside of this. So that's nice. It says soy free, gluten free. Wow. Mm, gluten. Soy, gluten, meat, seafood free and is kosher. Okay. So, uh, just cut this one in half. Maybe it is much different. This one. Maybe. Why? Why I get that one? I don't know here. It smell funny. Uh, I'm, are you ready? What is that? I know what it is, but I ain't saying it. Okay, Come on. Okay, go. Mmm. It's like something that got left at like Ponderosa on the buffet for like. Stop. Come on. No, what is that flavor? That is not that bad. At all. That is, it's what it reminds me of. What is that flavor? She doesn't like ginger. That's the flavor and that's the reason I didn't uh, want to say it. Ew, why is there ginger in it? Is it say ginger on here? Look, look at the bottom. Uh, she hates ginger. Ha! Huh. Get this. But in reality, this this isn't actually that bad. I, I don't think it's, I still think the Gardein one is way better, but this isn't as bad as you're making it seem. All right, come on, fish stick it. Okay. Ready? I'll put mine in ketchup. I 
if this didn't say vegan right here, mm -hmm. I would be curious if this was not actually a fish stick. It has the, like the cheap fish stick flavor. I gotta disagree a bit. Really? Like I'm, I'm, I'm with you a little. I'm, I'm about 50% of the way there that it, it does, but. Well, what do you think? It, it still tastes a bit too artificial to me. Got it. Um, I didn't say what these were before I started talking about it. Um, these are vegan fishless sticks from corn. Um, a lot of their stuff is not vegan. It still has eggs or milk inside of it, even though it's all meatless, but this one says vegan on it. Um, it is made with wheat and there are no other top eight allergens inside of here. I think the texture on that one is even better than the Gardein one. It's like a lot softer than in like the, I guess the meats out of the meats, you know what I mean? Well, it's softer and it's flakier and this like nails- Meats like, as in real meats, meats as in, like, yeah. you know what I mean? But out of meats, it's, it's certainly softer. Right, um, this nails that texture. Yeah, in terms of it being like close to a fish stick, I actually think it's- It's a little off though. I still think it's a little further. I, I think the breading is perfect, stuff like that. Like it has all the the fish stick uh, aesthetics, Yeah. but not necessarily, you know, what I would say is- But like, would you buy this again? The taste. Um, to be, if the kids like it, yeah, I would yeah. buy it again, but- it was, it, it was a lot. I no, think it wasn't there my was, fave. Uh, there's 10 fish sticks and it's five, a little over $5. It says 529 when we bought it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like 50 cents per fish stick, which when you think about what normal fish sticks fish are, cost, and it's yeah. like $2 for like 50 of them. Yep. Um, again, vegans like have to inflate the price. <laughs> so. Well, they went through a lot more to create it, right? Yeah, so overall, um, they're much better than the tuna segment. Yeah. Um, I think if we had to pick a favorite, it would probably, we would just stick with Gardein. 100%. All right, so we are back with the two crab cakes. Yep. Um, so again, Sophie's Kitchen. It's like every category, they have something. Um, so these are Sophie's Kitchen's vegan crab cakes. Again, this is made with pea protein. All right, ready? Okay. No. I think it is, you might be, falling victim to that ginger thing again, but it, um, texture on this is actually, it's, it's fairly close um, in terms of the texture. Taste. The texture is good, the taste is off. Um, Gardein, our friends. Um, they're our friends. They don't know they're our friends, but they are our friends. I'm, I mean, I'm down. Okay. I'll invite them over. Mini crispy crabless cakes. These are made with wheat and soy. Um, it does also have corn. I was like, I had read something else, but what was it? There's corn. Um, all right, so they are these little, tiny little guys. Ready? Yep. Wow. These are pretty spot on. The texture is, uh, you can tell they were trying to get like the, the flakiness yeah. of it. And I feel like uh, they did a better job here. Okay. Um, I feel like with the fish fillet, it was more, still like more meaty, not so flaky, but I feel like these flake better, mm -hmm. um, if that makes sense. But the, the taste of these is much closer to what I remember like seafood, crab cake yes. taste being. Yeah, no, for sure. I think they did a really good job with seasoning this. This one, I think because of the seasoning, it's a little too far off. It, uh, they have a lot of pepper in this one, um, either white pepper or black pepper. Yeah. I wanna say that they have in this one and it's, uh, it's black pepper. And it, it's- A little overpowering. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it kinda goes too far in terms of, you know, helping with, encourage the taste. So Gardein has won the two categories that they have been in. So Gardein, we need you to create a tuna and possibly a shrimp, depending on what happens. Yeah. All right, so we are back and we have two different types of vegan shrimp. This is Sophie's Kitchen breaded vegan shrimp. Um, it is, again, made with pea and top eight allergen friendly otherwise. So this, one, so this one's more of a breaded one, right? Yeah, and the other one's kind of more of like a, this would be like a cocktail kind of yeah. one. 
All right, let's go. Smells like shrimp. Kind of wiggles like it too. I'm not very hopeful at this point. Take a bite. What is that? What is this made out of? <laughs> there ain't no ginger <laughs> inside of this. Huh? Um, water, rice no, no, flakes. No, 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 like what's the main ingredient? ingredient? Rice flakes, oil, potato starch, and konjac powder. Pea starch. Hmm. I was gonna say it, Don. Honestly, the, your reaction to it I thought was so much worse than it what, it, so what it actually weird. was. The taste of it is so weird. It is, it's odd, but I, I think it's more like a, I thought it was like tofu, just not seasoned very well. No, it's worse than tofu. It's like tofu got like a chemical added to it. I, I guess, I don't know. The, the texture from, I mean, I literally like bit down, tasted it and, and spit it back out. But the, the tech, it did have like that, like, like shrimp has like a gummy, meaty texture does it, i don't know how gummy to gummy meaty it. texture yeah like i don't know how to explain it but like it, it does have like a, a bite to it and i do feel like i got that from that yeah um i can agree there bottom line is, is it doesn't taste that great at all i wouldn't get it yeah uh this company is called vegetarian plus um this is their vegan shrimp imitation shrimp with a sweet chili sauce so the sauce was inside of the package you cooked it with it right yes um, the ingredients, uh, this has soy inside of it. Um, no other top nine allergens. Uh, again, it was made with this one besides water, curdlin gum. I've never heard of that before. Me either. Um, and then the konjac powder, um, which is in a lot of... This one also has like the... The jiggly that yeah, the shrimp Yeah, the had. shrimp texture or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. All right. So that one was a breaded one. This one is more of a like straight out of the package. This is like what I said shrimp. earlier, like just straight up cocktail, like a raw shrimp. Yeah. And it literally like you see like they have like the orange mm -hmm. line, like it literally it cooked to it looked like that before you put the sauce on there. All right, ready? You yeah. I don't mind the taste as much, but the texture of this one, it's much more gummier. This one's closer to shrimp, but it's, a it's still a little gross to me. Overall, I think that this video was just like disappointing in the sense that like it shows that in the, in the vegan world that there are still things to work on. I feel like every company has worked on their burgers and now it's like, okay, now we want more. Like we want better chicken products. We want like, you know, I, we were never big pork people, but like, I know a lot of people are like, I want a nice pork product. Like I want better bacon. Yeah. Um, this, I is, was a bacon person. I like bacon. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I guess when I said pork, I was thinking like pork chops, chops. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the seafood category though, just has a, a ton of work to do. I, I agree. I think that we would agree we would purchase the two Gardein products again um, if we wanted something in this area. But other than that, I don't think that I would I would spend money on buying anything else that we taste tested today. Overall, this was just disappointing. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, no, this feels like a complete fail yeah. in terms of like having the potential to taste like any, like I was, I was south as soon as we, had, we started with the tuna, but I will never be trying tuna again on no taste tests. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Like, if you guys like some of this, I'm uh, I'm sorry. If you're one of these companies inside of this video besides Gardein, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not. Y'all need to figure some stuff out. <laughs> like, this stuff is, uh, it needs help. Yeah, if you guys have tried anything and you liked it, um, leave a comment below. I do know that there are a lot of other vegan products that you can get online in this category, but we were trying to stay to the things that most people can access um, throughout the country. Access. 
Is that what you're saying? Yes, that is what I'm saying. Okay. Um. So I, I, maybe this stuff online tastes better and we should try that instead. Yeah. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, uh, we would like if you could give the like, if you could like the video. Yeah, I always say that messed up. That's okay. And uh, They know what you mean. And subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. You got anything? I, I don't have anything else on, on this. Other than that, yeah. are we leaving or is this done? I think we're done. Are we done? Okay. I'm believing good. <laughs> Bye guys. Have a good week. Peace.